Hey guys, this is the Crossing Engineer here, and today I'm going to do my second episode of Space Agency here, and one minute while it loads. Oh, that, that volume is a bit high. And so, this is the second episode, and... Oh. And, as you would have seen last time, that we had a bit of lag. And, I wish to stop that, so... As last time I said that... Oh. Since last time I've brought this up, which will connect to the satellite station... To, what? Oh. Never mind, what I was going to do this video is completely pointless, so as it's already destroyed itself. Last <coughs> last episode, the thing, the giant satellite, would have crashed into a telescope, and so I was going to deorbit all of them safely, but now it turns out I don't have to, so... Yeah, that's good for both me and viewers who don't want me doing stuff that seems kind of pointless at the time. But anyway, we've got this crew here, got a new crew over here who are coming to join them pinch to zoom gotta love it and crew refresh coming so we need to get this crew down and I don't think I can do it on RCS so quickly just save that and then we'll try and do it here now and as we're going back spin us round using the reaction control System, RCS, yeah. Oh, um, my TV's a bit loud, so if you can hear anything, that's me watching the new Big Bang Theory, which, honestly, I absolutely love. Not necessarily the new Big Bang Theory, but just Big Bang Theory in general. Reverse thrust. Yeah, we're not going to have an RCS to do it. But I'll show you what it is anyway. For a giggle. Okay, and we're about to hit the atmosphere and re-entry. So now while you're re-entering you get flame effects and stuff and if I ever decide to do a run through of the tutorials this will go into more detail but what you have to do is while you're in here you need to use the sideways RCS to tilt the craft in order to keep it from burning up. If you go too far to one side then that side of it will get red and hot. And you want to stop the craft from exploding. Oh, that's close. Now, on the side, you'll see that my altimeter is showing that I'm dropping. I might be able to do this. Oh, it's going to be close. But those two green arrows there. Right, in between those two is when I can deploy the parachute to start slowing down. But I have to get there in one piece. Or two. No, two's bad. So I have to get there in one piece. Oh, and I don't want to press the wrong button, just in case. And I may survive this. Oh, we have run out of RCS. And we have no RCS, and we managed to do it. And I, I think they're going a bit crazy in there. Yeah, they were so happy that we got them back to us that they are rocking the craft like crazy. Having a little party in there. Little disco ball and red laser lights. Oh, uh, if I seem a bit distracted and I'm not paying attention, that's just because I'm watching Big Bang Theory. Wait, actually, one minute. I'll be back. Yeah, it's a new one. Never mind. And go on. Okay, so we have survived re entry. That is good. Now we can save, now we can go back in. And we're about to get that, so that's good, save. I love saving. And now, while we're here, we may as well, just for fun, send up. Because our people up there, yeah, they're all well and good, but... I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty sure that astronauts generally like to have power. Pressing and sliding to pull across. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that they quite like to have power and, well, solar panels. Gotta love the solar panels. Although I'm not quite sure 
where to put them on. So I may just launch up a temporary solar panel, which won't go on for reasons I do not quite yet know. A eh, small solar panel, they'll do it. Send up a small solar panel. Hmm. I'm rambling, aren't I? Very good at rambling, as proved in last episode video thing. Hmm. There you go, just launch. Oh, I didn't quite explain it in the last video, but the little button press thing to launch, if you, uh, while you're holding it, you go onto these little arrows, it will do the engine thing. And in the real world, that's called gimballing. And I think I may have pressed it. No, I'm good. Yeah, so in the real world, that is called gimballing, which allows the engine nozzle to move and allow your spacecraft to turn. Damn. Right, it appears that my finger slipped slightly. Not deliberately, I would never hurt the astronauts intentionally. So one minute while I quickly clean my screen. You probably can't hear me here, so it's probably pointless, but never mind. Nine, eight, seven, six, turn on engine, two, one, lift off. No, I'm sorry, but I really like the countdown, that's why I did it. Oh, uh, no, poor aim. Rolling using the engine gimbal, as I said previously. Oh. Turn, there we go. I don't know why, but I always like to have it so that in the pitch, it's orange. So that I know that when I re uh, release it, in the time it takes me to release this stage and the connector, I will be perfectly aligned with the next thing. What's it? Next stage. When I launch it. Well, not perfectly. There is some margin for error, but... Eh, there's gotta be. If there's no margin for error in the space agency, then... You're kinda screwed. If the word screwed is inappropriate, then... The only other word I can think of would not be a very good word to say on YouTube. Oh, the thing's just docked. Also, the other word that I was thinking of, if I did say it on YouTube, I'd probably get taken off. Yay, they docked. Starts with F. Rhymes with ducked. If you still don't know what it is, Mm, go on the Urban Dictionary some. Not that I've been on it. Just saying. Because I've been told to use the Urban Dictionary because I don't understand. Quite a lot of modern things, as I would call them. And yes, I... Yes, as I'm watching the Big Bang Theory, it's appropriate because many people say that I am like a mini Sheldon. I just did my fist in a weird pumping movement to say that I'm pleased. You know, fist pump. And there I did it again. Uh, I've really got to remember that you guys here can only hear me and see what I'm doing on the screen. And you can't actually see what I'm doing in real life. So fist pumping doesn't work if you can't see me. Sometimes I'm stupid but I don't let it on. Because if I'm stupid, then I'm stupid. And that statement was slightly redundant. Never mind. Never mind. All good. Good slow down. Speed up. Speed up. Speed up. Oh, that was not meant to happen. You slow down. Slow down. Wait, Ashley. Speed up. Speed up. No. 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 Oh, I'm so glad that that happened. I'm so glad we didn't screw it up. Okay, that's good. Right, um... I was going to do something else. Eh, never mind. While I'm here... Just because I've got a bit of an OCD thing... 
This episode was actually going to be me deorbiting, but yeah, who cares? That's boring. Even I don't like to do it. Still experiencing some lag. Oh. Maybe the game isn't thinking of this as three joint entities, but rather as one. No, as one joint entity, but rather as three separates. Yeah, that'd really ruin it. Oh. So. Yeah, there we go. We've added the next piece. We've got a new crew refresh. We've done the re-entry. That's it is. I can I can remember. And pretty successful, even if we didn't actually do any anything. All we did was send up a small solar panel unit. And yeah, nothing really interesting. But who cares? It's part of it. And Stuart is wearing. Sunglasses and a black suit. Never mind. So, yeah, goodbye. Uh, this has been the Craftsman Engineer here, and yeah, I wait until next time. So, goodbye. Double tap. The music's still running. That's bad. I think I broke the game. Um. Oh. If you're still listening to me, I don't know why you are, so. As I said, it's been across an engineer, and I wait until next time. And so for the second time today, goodbye.